Previously on Britain's Next Top Model, a fashion shoot saw Jenna Lee crack under the pressure. Gossip catches up with Naomi when she faces the media. There have been rumours circulating that you snogged Paul Denham, but you've got a boyfriend. And after a tough week for Marissa, the judges decided her heart wasn't in the competition and a hard look had run its course. Congratulations, Jenna Lee. Who will be eliminated tonight? I think Marissa was the right person to go because she didn't really want to be in the competition. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're down to the last six girls, I definitely do feel that the pressure is on, especially as we're so close to fulfilling our dreams. Lisa Mayo, everybody! Uh oh! working nine till five. Be up, dressed and ready to impress at 5 a.m. I don't know what's happening today, I'm still confused. It's five o'clock in the morning, first time ever we've actually left the house on time. We were so excited, some more than others. I was just ecstatic, I was screaming, clapping my hands, running in circles. It was just great. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> no, I am very excited. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to Paris or somewhere in Europe. Ooh, je vais aussi te bon. So excited. <laughs> We're going to find out who can really cut it in the world of high fashion. And we're off to the couture capital of the world, Paris! Yay! She just said couture, and from all the comments that I've been getting told from the panel, so is that couture is for flat chested girls. So I started to get in a little bit of a panic, but I just thought I've got to have, you know, a good self belief confident and just go in there with my double D's and just be proud of what I've got and who I am. <laughs> I interpret couture to be um, very eccentric fashions and fashion that actually hits our high street are just elements of couture fashions. Yes. That's what it gets melted down. That's what I'm that's what I just said. Thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for thank you for uh, the input, but that's what I just said, but just in different words. <laughs> thank you for reiterating that. Naomi? <laughs> Naomi decided to interrupt because she's a fashion student. She knows so much better. She she decided that she thought she'd tell us what couture was. Take bits of couture and filter it down into mm. <laughs> It was really funny because we just sat and had a joke about it. For a while, and we could see her looking over and giving us dirty looks. If Paris don't want to accept me, New then York you know what? Will. New York will. Do you know what I mean? If New York don't want to accept me, then I'll find some Timbuktu village where I'll be the top model amongst 12 women. Do you know what I mean? So it's not the be-all and end-all, but for me personally, it would be so nice if I could come away from Paris and show Marie and the panel that you know what, you were wrong about the couture, or they actually liked me, but they're not ready for me. I could really see 
myself living in Paris and working as a model and just living the French lifestyle. That would be a dream, that would be amazing. Angela took us to this amazing restaurant which overlooked the River Seine and it was just a really good opportunity to speak to her in an informal way and just get to know her. No, I met Edwina. Sat together, pretending like they know everything and it was just so boring. Oh, God, it's just do maiden. People imagine modelling just, you know, turning up, looking glamorous and then walking away again. It's so much harder it's hard, than that. It's hard work. People don't realise, and what's the great thing that you've been doing is that you've really been living every day like you do as a, as a top model. So this afternoon, we're going to take you to meet a wonderful up-and-coming Parisian couture designer called Michelle Dupre and Christelle Santa Barbara. And I'm going to let you wear some beautiful gowns. <laughs> when Angela told us that we were going to meet two very well-known designers that had worked along Jean-Paul Gaultier, it was just we were just all gobsmacked. And then that Naomi, but like you just said, she thinks she knows everything about fashion. She hasn't got a clue how to dress. Her dress sense is from the 80s. It's not original. It doesn't suit her. And it's really outdated. She's a little midget. She looks like a dancer. She's got a popped ass belly. And she hasn't had no children. She hasn't got nothing to say about her life apart from I'm a fashion student and I snogged Paul. I can't believe that Marie said to me that I have a belly. <laughs> that girl has got the biggest, biggest pop belly. Biggest pop belly. This morning, this morning. Like she was pregnant. Farm was pregnant. <laughs> 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 OK, girls, I'd like to introduce you to Michelle and Christelle. OK, nice and to meet you. <laughs> their beautiful collection, Santa Barbara. It's a fabulous avant-garde couture collection. And they're going to look at you and figure out which girl should wear which beautiful creation. I was the first girl up to see Michelle Dupre. And I just felt like I had to just get in there first. I thought, let me get it over and done with. Can you walk, please? I was excited on one hand because I was seeing like an absolutely top designer, but on the other hand, I'm thinking, okay, well, what if this designer just caters for size six? Please. Yeah. Okay. So you give me the dress now, and you know it's like deep breath, smile. Went into the back room to get changed. Okay. Yes. Me. <laughs> Basically, I had to strip naked, lift my arms up. No bra, my baps are there. He's kind of smaller than I were. And he's literally right in between my breasts. And all I could think was like, how do I keep a straight face? And I just had this image of me slapping him with my boobs, just going through my head. I was going absolute mental inside. And I just had to hold it together. Tasha, it's, uh, I think it's a nice girl, but um, she's uh, too fat, I think, for, for the model, actually. I felt very privileged to be wearing these garments that we saw pictures of them actually on the catwalk. And you just think that they're not real until you're there and you're touching them, and it's just, it's really, really crazy. Uh, if she lose small kilo, yeah, I know. I think all people say lose kilo, but it's a business. Uh, I think she can do pret-a-porter. Edwina had come out of a really nasty comment before I walked into the designer, telling me I had saggy tits and this, that and the other. Because that was right before I walk into a casting. Why are you going to try and crush somebody the moment they were about to walk through the door? I thought that was bang out of order. She's a bitch. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> when I actually went into the room with the designer and I had to walk backwards and forwards. I was very nervous and I knew that it was showing in some way, shape or form. But when I put the dress on, I thought this is the time where you have to transform. You have to show that designer that you can carry that clothes in the way that he wants you to. And it was so easy to do that because when I put that dress on, I felt a million dollars. And I think uh, you walking uh more good when you have a dress, and I think it's because you are inside the story. Thank you. There I was, like, wearing these amazing clothes and walking up and down and doing the walk, and I felt brilliant. I just 
wanted to do very, like really well and impress him. You have a good expression, good uh, good face, uh, body. Yeah, it's lose um, small kilo, but um, hello. hello. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. And uh, where you live in? Uh, on um, it's Kent, Sittingbourne, Kent. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, Kent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Kent. Oh, okay. sorry, it's in England. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of time not open all your body for this, you know. Just, you know, middle, yes. You don't uh, give all things, just small thing off. Michelle picked up my walk and he said that it was a bit 80s, a bit Naomi Campbell. Stop. For the, the professional of fashion, it's all style is finished. But I didn't mind that because if it's good enough for Naomi Campbell, it's good enough for me. Well done, girls. You did so well today. It was a really tough day. I think you handled it really well. But remember, if you were coming to Paris for the day and your agency had sent you, it would have been a lot tougher. Because instead of just the one casting go see, you would have had maybe ten. Steph is just so annoying. Oh. I've never known anybody to moan as much as she does. If it's not a cold, it's a headache. If it's not a headache, it's a feet. If it's not a feet, it's raisins. The girl was getting agitated at me because I didn't give her no raisins. And I was like, just grow up, you stupid git. How dare she? When I'm just about to go in to a casting, should that girl puts me down like that? No, baby, these tits ain't saggy. These tits are 100% not saggy. I work damn hard on my figure. I go to the gym and everything else. Don't you dare come at me and tell me like that before I go into a casting. Don't you dare try and put me down. That's exactly the type of comment that I expect from her all the time is just trying to put people down before they go into something this big. Why? Because she knows that she can't win this competition on her own. She needs to put other people down so that she can go one step ahead 24-7. 24-7. Wait till everyone's got their ears on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> another. Half another. <laughs> <laughs> a top model should ooze style wherever she is. Be ready at 9.15am to show us you have an eye for fashion. We're getting styled. <laughs> it is, isn't it? The sensational six. Right, what we're going to be doing today is in complete contrast to Paris. Now, yesterday you were looking at high fashion. Today you're going to be looking at the bargain basement end. <laughs> right? It's street chic. Yeah. And we're here in Camden Lock, and what I'm going to be doing is giving you all 30 pounds. And you'll have just 20 minutes. Oh my God. My life is short. To run out and find something fabulous. And Ooh. your time starts now. <laughs> I am looking for something really sexy, something sassy. Where's all the spotty things? I, I need something to go already with the outfit that I've got, because too much of a change is going gonna, gonna to backfire. I need to kick out at this task, because I keep getting comments about my figure. Something that's quite bright. So no, stick out. But I'm so indecisive, so I've got to learn not to be indecisive. Oh my gosh! Loving it, loving it. Oh, how much is this skirt? Fifteen. I'm gonna buy it. One is a top and one is a skirt. Thank you. I'm starting to panic now. <laughs> Woo! I've got my outfit. Thank you, very good man. I'm in a mess. I'm in a mess. Ah! Oh! 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 All right, I'll go for the pink. <laughs> The pink. Okay. I'll go for. I'll go for the. I'll go for the pink. Twenty minutes and thirty pounds later, here you all are. I'm going to go through 
one by one, starting with you, Tashai. A couple of the outfits were quite interesting. It sort of looks, I don't know, there's something a bit Barbie doll about it, which I just don't <laughs> think is your style, you know what I mean? Maybe it's the pink. Blamange. Barbie girl. <laughs> Thought bless her. I really, I really didn't think what she had on suited her at all. Right, Jenny Lee, earrings are particularly clever. Um, the idea is very good, but I think there's a little too much all one colour. Naomi, and they were your own shoes. Yeah. Right, that's quite clever because it sort of matches the sequence that we've yeah. got on the skirt. Right, Edwina. I mean, I, I do like the trousers. I don't like the shoes with them. I think it could have been a bit more ethnic or piratey because yeah. they're slightly sort of buccaneer trousers. And I do have to say that the top really doesn't go with the trousers. It's not entirely successful, um, but nevertheless a good try. Lucy, with a skirt like that, high heels again, an absolute no-no. I mean, a total and utter style crime. Because the skirt is fabulous, the top's great, and then suddenly you've got these high heels that look like something out of Desperate Housewives. Right, Steph. Steph's in particular, I thought was just hideous on her. I mean, I like the colour combination. Um, I can't understand the shoes, again. They need to be pointy, really, don't or they? Or flat, or, flat. or little flip-flops. High heels go with, if you're wearing skinny jeans, a pencil skirt, smart suit. They certainly do not go with long, flowy skirts, but the colour combination is great. I think you've all done a fairly reasonable job. And so the winner is going to have a fantastic dinner at number one Lombard, which is a fabulous celebrity restaurant. And there's going to be a special mystery guest. And the person I'm going to give the prize to is Naomi. Thank you. Well done. Bad, 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 bad. There was also one other person who I think tried exceptionally hard. And so we're going to have a runner-up prize as well. And that's going to Steph. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well, oh, sorry. Fashion, fashion, fashion. fashion. Thank you. But well done, all of you. It wasn't easy, was it? We've never had any more than a, a week apart. Um, first two weeks were, they were all right. I'm managing that, but I'm missing a lot more and more every day. It's, uh, but I know she's doing well, so it's all right. It's all right. Stephanie and I were expecting a special guest waiting for us at the restaurant, but we just didn't have a clue who it was going to be. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm going right? to cry. We've spent so much time together over the last few years. I've missed her so much. She's been... I just don't... I know I don't want to live on my own ever again, put it that way. To see Chris there was an absolute shock for me because I was so in, in in the mode of just forgetting about everything that was going on back home. I hope I'm not a disappointment for you. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> She's not very happy. Why? Because they're going through a rough patch. They've been together nine years, yeah. on and off. They live together, don't they? Yeah, but it's, I don't know what's going on because she wouldn't like to talk about it. I don't know, I'm just shocked. Naomi's been naughty. So I hope she's recovering from that for her boyfriend right now. Oh my god. No wonder it's been a month, you know. The thing is though, they were, yeah, they were both really nice lads and it's, I don't want to make him sound bad, but Scott was getting some off Tash eye, so mm -hmm. he thought, well, I'm going to look bad on TV, so I need trying to get some. Yeah. Don't bullet up because if you kiss him, just tell me. No, I didn't. I grabbed his cheek and I gave him a kiss on the cheek. I said, that's all you're getting. Seriously, love, I think you ain't got nothing to tell me now. No. Mm. Mm. And our relationship is, you know what I mean? Do you think I'm stupid enough to do something like that when it's over with you so it's already got enough? Mm. So I went back down. I took him on the car and I said, look. Thank you so no, much. No, what did you do that for? No, because it, he was playing... No, listen. No, no. That, that, that sounds No, because... Yeah. yeah, but Matt... <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. You know, there, 
every couple has bad patches and I, I don't get down in the dumps about it. You know what I mean? I, I try to stay positive. It's not just a bad patch, darling. We know that. Mm. You know, it's a whole lot worse than that. It's a bad patch and then we'd have been over it. We've been through bad patches before. This is like rock bottom. You gotta be straight on. I am straight! Villa. So if we end up getting into Europe and that, yeah, it's going to be crazy because we haven't got any, anyone in double figures in goals. And we'll probably finish the season like that as well. Don't you want any more? Mm -hmm. I also feel like I want to talk to you. Come on, babe. I don't want you to get mad at me. I'm not mad at you. Huh? I'm missing you, ain't it? It's all right. It's all right. Can you kiss me? It's a little bad. I did feel bad for Steph because it was a reward at the end of the day, and her night just didn't go as well as my night did. Which is a shame. Can we leave that night just alone now? <laughs> We were whisked off to a secret location where we didn't know where we were going and we didn't know what to expect when we got there. <laughs> when I saw the model's one sign, I just couldn't believe it. It was just their reality and it was just a dream come true. of Models One. Now, Models One is going to be representing the girl who actually becomes Britain's next top model. I'm going to be introducing you to the big boss. Her name is Karen Diamond, and she's going to be doing like individual interviews with each and every one of you. She's the one who's managed to make my career what it is right now. Thanks to her, I've done campaigns for Burberry, for Prada, and at 21, I'm looking to buy my first house, which I thank her so much for. She's like a second mother to me, and you need to show her as much respect as you can. But first, before you have your meeting with her, <laughs> you're going to need some portfolios. There we go. Lucy. Dreena. You know what's great, actually, guys, is you're going into having a meeting with, um, with Karen with pictures in your book. I didn't have any in my book when I walked in. So you, you're, like, uh, you're already a few steps ahead of me when I first started out. Hi. Hello. Lucy. Hi, I'm Karen. Lucy. And you would be prepared to come down to London, yeah? You feel it's the I'm right prepared. time to do that, yeah? OK. And what about, you know, living abroad? Yeah, I feel ready for anything, to be honest, because this is... I feel very passionate about it and I'm love everything to do with it. So I would live anywhere. I would do anything. <laughs> OK, great. Well, that's a very good attitude. How tall are you, Jenny? Five, seven and a half. It's very important, that yes. half. <laughs> the minimum height really is five, eight. So your, your height, you're going to have to try that little bit harder. Yeah. You've got to think tall and walk into that room kind of feeling five foot ten. Yeah. But it will be tough. You know, there'll be things probably you won't be a catwalk model. Yeah. You know, that will always go against you. There's always the exception to the rule. Most painful shoe I've ever done in my life. This one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> my feet were freezing, the pebbles sticking on my feet, but I think I pulled it off quite well. It's all glamour, <laughs> isn't it? See, that looks like such a great, fun, happy shot, and behind that there was that pain yeah. in the toes just to keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm intrigued with your hair. So obviously this was when you first started that and you was... had it cut drastically and yeah. gone red. Okay. Gone red. <laughs> were you okay about that? Um, they told me that it would enhance my look, so whatever enhances my look, whatever right. works for me. Right, okay, no, that's good. I'll, I'll I mean, there are an awful lot of, of shoots where, you know, that is required. Mm. You've got big boots, yeah. which I'm sure you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is, for high fashion, that's an issue. If you were interested in glamour modelling, then obviously that's a huge asset for you, but that's yeah. not what you want to do. You want to do high fashion. Hello. Jordan, I already know that because there isn't much black girls in glamour. I 
at all in, in that industry, but it's not, it's not what I want at all. It's not what I want at all. All right, girls, I want to thank you for coming in to see me. I really appreciate it. Really, for me to make my decision about who's going to be Britain's next top model, I need you to compete on the next stage, which is the international market, which means I'm going to be sending you to Milan. <laughs> Karen had come out and told us that she'd love to send us to Milan. Now, the catch were... There are six of you, and there are only five seats available on the plane. It was like, oh, my God, how can you do this to us now? So, you've got one more photo shoot to do, and one more elimination. So, that next photo shoot is really going to count. You've got to give it your all. OK? So, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, all, all they're doing is just making all them glamour agencies out there want me. So what's but, the problem then? Don't start trying. I never have you down as a trier. <laughs> That's what all the girls are saying in here as well. Exactly, don't have you down as a trier. At the end of the day, Tasha, you've got to be open to criticism. So what about reducing them? I'm not reducing them. Oh, I'm glad to hear that because you wanted them reducing before you, um, ages before you went in. Yeah, that was when I was much bigger, but now, no, I'm not reducing them. I will never reduce them. They're mine and they will make me a lot of money one day if I choose to go down that route. Lisa Mill says, girls, the pressure is on. Milan awaits around the corner, but only five of you can continue on that journey. There is everything to play for and nothing to lose. Be ready for the most crucial day so far at 9am. <sighs> everything to play for. Absolutely everything to play for for the next photo shoot. And it was like handbags at 10 paces, I think. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, but don't touch. Everybody stepped up the game. It was like quite quiet on the, on the arrival. And then the moment we walked through those doors, it was like, right, we've got, to, we've got to go for it now. Now, this today is the big one. Because based on this photo shoot today, five girls will go to Milan. <laughs> so you've all got to work really, really hard. Harder than you've ever worked in your lives. And to help you do that, we've got John Swinnell, one of the best photographers in England. Not only has he photographed virtually every member of the royal family, he's photographed every famous model from Twiggy right through to Linda Evangelista, and he is absolutely red hot. But you're gonna have to work hard to please him, aren't they, John? <laughs> Don't you believe it? No, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. And uh, welcome today, it's nice to see you all. It's so important that it's off my face and it's it's how they want it to be because I need to go to um, Milan with my double D's yeah. and I need to stay <laughs> in this competition because you know I want this so I don't know if they've really been super impressed with any of my photos so far so if I can get like a really amazing photo then I think I can stay in and go to Milan and get told I need to lose two pounds or five pounds or whatever it is. But I feel quite nervous because <laughs> the pressure is really on. I'm feeling it. That's good. If I went to good. Milan, I would be so happy. If you make it out there, then wow, you're good to go. Now listen carefully, that's great. How much do I want to get to Milan? I'm going to Milan, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to ask me that. <laughs> this was my opportunity to really shine. Tasha, this is so exciting. <laughs> I so see want the transformation. Fit. And to really feel like a million dollars, like I could fit in with the royal family themselves in this picture. I've got four people fussing around me. That is so what a supermodel is all about. Come let me in. 
We have to work our butts off now in this photo shoot and we've just got to shine because one of us are, are going home and we're going to know the other girls are going to Milan. Hills. Oh my God. My God, each one's better than the last. The judges are going to have such a hard time. Good. I really do want to go to Milan because it's, a, it's another country then I think there's just going to be so much to learn, so I'd just love if I can get that experience. Well done. Good. This is something that I've always wanted, and it's something that I will always want. Beautiful. Hilary had this beautiful kind of khaki green gown planned for me, and she said, Lucy, I've got this amazing dress, and I stepped into it, and she went to do the zip-up, and it wouldn't go up. Oh, dear. No, it's not going to, no way. So she was like, okay, it's okay. And she got some more dresses and every dress that she tried on, the zip wouldn't go up and I was getting so frustrated. No way. Look. All my life I've been slim and I was picked on at school for being skinny. So I was standing there and I just felt like a hippo and I was feeling why on earth aren't these dresses fitting me? And I think I tried on about four and the fifth one fit and it was such a relief that the zip went all the way up and I could actually stand there with this dress on. Cinderella. And I'll do the rest of it in a minute, okay? She looks absolutely beautiful, she really does. Beautiful look, lovely look, don't move. I was near the end so I felt this huge pressure to get this amazing photo and do really well and I think that made it that much harder as well to perform and Get a good photo. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, princess, darling. I'm proud of you, babe. She looks really good. How are you feeling? I'm just hoping I'm going to Milan. I'm just hoping I'm going to Milan. I've got to, you know what I mean? I need to get through this round. I need to go and do modelling somewhere else as well. Hopefully, I'm still here through the next elimination. And I am in the final five. For me personally, I will not feel good walking away from this competition and Naomi's still in here. Naomi, no. Only room for one finest in Leeds and it ain't Naomi whatsoever. No way. Watch out because I'm going to be a present next time. had a busy week this week. You've been introduced to the world of couture and you've really pulled it off. I am so proud of you. You've done brilliantly and it's not only me saying it, it's all of the judges. You've changed so much since when we first met you. Let me remind you of the prizes. The winner of this competition will receive an exclusive photo shoot for the cosmetic retailer Ruby and Millie, a fashion spread in B magazine and a contract with Models One. I don't really need to reintroduce the judges, but I'm going to anyway. Marie Halvin. Hi. Hi. Jonathan Pang. Hi, girls. And our special guest judge this week is a lady who could really make your career. She is the director of Models One, and it's Karen Diamond. Hi. Hi. This week's going to be a little bit different. I've got a task for you. <laughs> now, picture yourself rushing through Paris Airport. You're late for a casting. You've only got a T-shirt to wear, and you're going to have to customise it to best suit your style and your personality, and you have only 10 minutes to do it in. Oh. So you better get going. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Naomi, can we start with you? This is quite sporty at the front, but I made it quite elegant. Ooh, but, that's very nice. It doesn't leave an awful lot of the imagination. <laughs> Stephanie? I've to go a bit plain, but still have a little bit of sassiness in the uh, in the colour. And then went very backless. Wow. Well. I think it looks great, and I think it's very clever to have given yourself an accessory as well. I want to. <laughs> Right, please explain your outfit. 
I thought tie it a little bit so it doesn't look like it's a big baggy t-shirt and to, to bring a little area around here. <laughs> <laughs> Try the bring a bit more of the ribbons into it, have a little bit of a tassel it thing going on and tied up the sleeves to try and make more style to it. <laughs> Thanks very much, Thank Jaja. <laughs> Can you stick to the mark, please, Edwina? I thought it would be quite elegant, quite sexy, but not too tight, so I made it sure it was quite baggy here. And my back is on show. Oh, wow. Well, I quite like my back. You wear it elegantly. You wear it like it's a, a couture dress. It is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Fantastic, thank you. <laughs> Lucy? Um, I wanted to make it look like a vest um, to try and show my shoulders off with the skinny straps. Ribbons are very Mark Jacobs, very this season. Very good. <laughs> well, I like the Empire line with yeah. a bit of sexiness on the side. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Jenna Lee, the rock chick. <sighs> yes. I went for the 80s retro punk style, but I did a bit of ribbon to make it look a bit, bit more classy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, they're all very individual, and they show your unique sense of style. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, I'd like you all to step outside, because we're going to start with the individual evaluation. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Edwina. Hello. You had a meeting with Karen. Now, how was that for you, Karen? She didn't seem to show any signs of nerves at all. Uh, she really, you know, walked in as, a, as if she'd been doing this all her life. So she came across very well and left a very good impression. I was impressed. You also did um, a couture shoot with John Swinnell. I had a really good time. That's the most important thing for me. I also really enjoyed it and worked it. We've got your best picture here. Let's take a look. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. It's beautiful. What do you think about it? Um, <laughs> I love it. Karen, what do you think? It's amazing. You look like a model. <laughs> Thank you. I was really excited actually because we had no idea where we was going and when we was outside Models 1 I was like, this is so exciting because it just felt so real like with our portfolio book. Mm. I just loved it. I hope I will be part of that. We have your best photograph here. Let's take a look at it. Oh, oh wow. 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 Amazing. Great. Karen, if you were flicking through a magazine and you saw that picture, what would you think? It would make me think of someone, this is a girl who really knows what she's doing. Mm. You look really strong and you look as if you're working the clothes. Mm. That makes me so happy, especially because of last week. Yeah, I don't have any complaints about that no, picture at all. <laughs> you did a fashion shoot with John Swinnell. Let's take a look at your best picture. Oh, wow. Fantastic. I think I really like it. I think you look beautiful. Very high fashion. I mean, you could imagine opening Vogue magazine and seeing that as a double page spread. And I, you know, I think that's what it looks like. You do look like a professional. Thanks. As I said to you, I do think you've got an incredible face. My only big reservation is your height. Yes, what? we can just what? stretch you height? a little bit. Um, you know, it's against you. How do you find working with John? I, I really enjoyed that shoot as well. I think all the experience from, I just took a bit from every single other shoot that I'd done and put it all into that one. I can't wait to see the picture. I'm so looking forward to it. Let's take a look. Oh, oh my God. Wow. I love it. <laughs> right, for ventilating. <laughs> How are you? All right, thank you. Do you think that you've learnt much from your interview with Karen? Do you think that she appreciated the fact that I'm, I will be prepared to change whatever? The designer or the photographer asked me to do, I will definitely do it. What do you we, think, Karen? We had a nice chat. Mm -hmm. I thought you came across well. Um, you didn't appear to be nervous. Let's take a look at the best picture. You look as if you're looking for armpit hairs, though. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, what do you think of the picture? I think it's a beautiful picture, but it could be any model. I don't think it really says anything about you or her has your personality on the image. With Tasha, she was the girl I really noticed the difference in the photographs from the first shoot to the last one. How did you feel about your shoot with John? I enjoyed it, 100% enjoyed it. Let's take a look at your best shot. What do you think? I do like it, I absolutely do. I love the colours, um, I love the pearls, I love my hair. Yeah, the hair looks really great. Uh, you look great, it's very grown up. It all looks slight, I mean, it's almost too dramatic for me to be perfectly honest. I think it's a really strong shot, but you don't look as good in that picture as you do standing in front of me now. Well, it's decision time again. I'm going to find it really hard to get rid of someone tonight. Stephanie. 
That is not a great photograph of her. So I grateful for it's... everything that she's got through this program, and I think she really would like to be Britain's next top oh, model. I agree. I'm sorry, it's not possible. She it does not have the potential to become a top model, whether it's Britain's or Milan's or New York. She just doesn't. All right, what about Lucy? I think it's a great shot. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic yeah. shot. She looks amazing. Mm. But she looks like a model to me. Yeah, definitely, yeah. without a doubt. Naomi, again, flawless face. I think she's done a great job in that outfit. It's her, her face. Mm -hmm. it, she just shines in this. Tasha. I don't like it. It doesn't work for me, that picture. I don't think it's a great picture of her. No, I agree. Jenna Lee? Wow. She really tries hard. I'm thrilled yeah. for her. That's the, definitely her best hard. shot. Yeah. And she's yeah. really taken on board criticism. I think she looks great today. Yeah. And finally, Edwina. She's worked that dress amazing. What a great pose. Yeah. I have six girls in front of me fighting for the title to become Britain's next top model. But I only have five photographs in my hands. When I call your name, will you please step forward? Lucy. <laughs> your photograph this week looked as if it was from a glossy magazine. Congratulations, you're still on the running to becoming Britain's next top model. Thank you very much. <laughs> Edwina. Oh. <laughs> Generally. Practice makes perfect. And this was a perfect shot of you. Well done. Naomi. Congratulations. You're still in the running to becoming Britain's next top model. Thank you all so much. Will the remaining two girls please step forward? The girl's name that I do not call out must go back to the apartment immediately, pack up her things and leave. Tasha, we love your personality. But at this stage in the competition, your photograph should have been as good, if not better, than the one last week. But is it too late? Stephanie, you have beautiful eyes. A model can't rely on just one feature to see her through. You've got to have more than that. Congratulations, Tasha. Yeah! You're still in the running oh. to become British's next top model. No more tools. try and continue to model. You know, every... I always said that, that, you know, even if I went out in the first week, it wouldn't change me. It wouldn't change my dreams. Every part of this you can put into action in some way, shape or form. There is no part of this that I took away as a negative. And I'm just thankful that I was given the opportunity in the first place. <laughs> that someone believed in me. next time on Britain's Next Top Model. As the five remaining girls prepare to join me in Milan, we look back and remember the highs and the lows of the journey that our 12 girls took to becoming Britain's Next Top Model. In their battle to beat the bulge, their greatest challenge yet. The Biggest Loser UK. Thursday at 9, new and exclusive to Living TV. Well, it's been a tough few weeks for Steph. She's about to tell us what she really thinks of Edwina and the others in her Evicti story coming next. <laughs>